Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. It's a blustery Sunday. We're working on the Jeep some this weekend. Uh, got some stuff done. We'll get you flipped around, you can see what's going on. We got new shocks put on the back. That was fun. Bolt out of here. And two bolts up in this horrible place up in here. Got those pulled out. This side actually had a shock. There was only one on the back of this when I bought it. And it was not fun getting it out. We had to use the plasma cutter and actually cut one of the, the bolts up in that region out. Come around to this corner. Got a new shock on this side as well. There was not one at all in here. I'm not real happy with my clearance clearance in the exhaust. I gotta work on getting that moved over a little bit so I ain't melting my boot off. There was no shock at all up here. There was one one bolt holding part of what was left of the shock. We got that replaced, new bolts up there. Then coming around to this corner, we got us another new shock. It was actually in there. The old one, pretty sad looking. Another note, the the shock on the, the back corner laying back there. They did try to replace it, but it's four inches shorter than it needed to be to fit with the lift. So that was probably going to be an issue. Also in this corner, we put new joints in here. as the old U-joint. It's pretty sad looking. Uh, supposed to be needle bearings in here. Uh, they were gone. Same as this corner. And this one, they're so badly busted up that I have nothing left to show you. But we did, we had needle bearings in this one. So, that's something. Now we are going to come over here and work on the shock absorber in this side. But in the process, we're checking everything. Whenever you're checking underneath one of these, you're, you're always wanting to look for bolts that are loose. Something moving that shouldn't be moving. This is put together. I need to get a new one of these because it's obviously pretty sad looking looking in around here see if there's any kind of rust forming around the bolt heads around here over here around this stuff all of this I need to grease anyway and you're also looking for rubber hanging out of here that's something else I'm going to have to adjust apparently oil dripping off of things yeah, it's a little oily. That might have been from them checking it. Yeah, that's gonna need some cleaning. Looking around here, see if stuff's moving around. Nothing but grease there. Yum. But up here, see if we can get you on camera. See all that red rust up in there? That's because I can't move it because it's got pressure on it. The nut up here is loose. So therefore, this is our track bar that keeps the front axle where it's supposed to be. That bolt can go left and right. Hence, it comes down here. And hooks into there. This end's good. Nothing's moving around. But with that other end moving around, that's the only thing keeping this whole axle from... Whoop, doot, doot. So... Yeah, that's that's on the list of things to get addressed right now. I'm hoping I can just tighten that up, but chances are we're going to be end up putting a new bolt in there. So that's that's where we're at today on our weekend update. Also, if you take this bolt out, there's really just friction on these upper and lower control arms is all that keeps everything kind of in place. So we 
cross braced with some ratchet straps down the lift and up to the frame to kind of make sure nothing moves and I can use them to move stuff forward and back to help me line that bolt back up so we're gonna see what we can do with that stuff another fun thing I forgot to mention when I was talking about stuff these clips which I have the ends off of up here over here or the connect this connector sway bar which is kind of handy off-road and obviously uh, yeah these these haven't been out in a long time so we're gonna have to heat those up and uh, WD-40 or blast them and see if we can get those loosened up and out of there because it would be kind of nice to use those Alrighty, and until the next time, stay out of trouble, and I'm going to try to get in trouble later.